live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering VMworld 2017. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of VMworld 2017. We're on day three. I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE. My co-host is John Troyer. And we're very excited to be uh, welcome, welcoming a CUBE alumni, the CEO of Zadara Storage, Nelson Nahum. Welcome back to theCUBE, Nelson. Hi, thank you, Lisa. How are you? Good, thank good you to have you here. So Nelson, from your website, you say scalable, elastic, cost-effective enterprise storage as a service. What is this? How does this make Zadara unique? Yeah. Uh, we are unique uh, because of um, what we provide is a, a cloud storage solution that is and has all the capabilities of our enterprise storage. Uh, you know, the security, performance isolation, fully management uh, by the customer, block, file, object storage. All this as a service at the customer side. So we are the only one uh, company that can send all the equipment to the customer, data center, the customer don't pay for anything, only for what they use. If we ship 200 drives and they start using 10, they pay for 10. And then they start using another 10, they will pay for 20. And if they want at some point to shrink, they shrink. So it's uh, totally elastic in the, in the sense of the agility for the provisioning, but at the same time it's elastic in the price. So, so the customer pay for only for what, what they use. So this is your, you said, make your fifth or sixth time at VMworld with Zadara. You guys have a booth here on your website, you're inviting people, hey, come by your booth, yep. talk to us about the Zadara Storage Cloud. What is the Zadara Storage Cloud? How do VMware users benefit from it? Yeah, so VMware users, as you know, they, they use a lot of storage and enterprise storage capability. Performance is very important, reliability is very important. This show is, is the most popular storage show, I would say, because of the need of uh, enterprise storage in VMware environment. Uh, but the, the, the reason why are, are coming to our booth is because they want to move to an OPEX model, even if they want to have this in their own data center, and we provide that. It's not only OPEX model, it's not only the financing of the equipment, it's also the fact that we manage the equipment remotely. Um, so they don't, customers don't need to do, you know, use their own engineer to manage and learn new equipment and so on. Um, if there is a failure, we have a DevOps team that can uh, do everything remotely and, and you know, immediately act on, on an issue. Um, as well, one of the important things that happened with, with this new model is that uh, customers are not locked with the technology. We as a service provider have the incentive to have the best technology, best price performance for the customer at, at any time. Well, let, let me jump in there and let's talk about hardware for a second, right? Uh, the one thing about storage is it, it, it always, it's, it keeps advancing, keeps getting cheaper. Uh, a lot of people out there still running spinning disks, uh, flash, and now NVMe. The generations are changing, the densities are getting higher. Uh, the, you have to invest now to, uh, to get the next generation of, of, of uh, performance out of it for your workloads. Talk a little bit about how you, as this service provider who, who basically uh, provides the hardware, you have to take on the hardware costs, how are you looking at this, where we are on the curve, uh, it, uh, are there shortages in production, what is that doing to pricing, uh, yeah. and, and what, what's the risk model, uh, both for, for you and for the, the enterprise then in this equation as we move more to flash now, yeah. say? Yeah, uh, really good question. So actually this is, uh, basically we take out from the customer the not only the risk the 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 fact that very quickly the system becomes obsolete uh, so flash is a good example right there is all the time new innovations around flash uh, people predicted a uh, few years ago that you know flash will be extremely cheap actually it's going up the price uh, so people that buy today are all flash array and they calculate the ROI over five to seven years, they, they are overspending because at some point the, the flash will go down and there is the new technology and the uh, you know, higher capacity drives, et cetera, et cetera, that, that they are paying today for, for what is the cost today. 
So our customers, for example, rely on us. So they, they, they say, okay, Zadara is my storage expert and this storage outsourcing. And what we do is we provide, uh, because we are as a service and our our incentive is to have the customer forever with us. No, it's not a three year lease or four year lease. It's a day to day working together with the customer and, and be the provider forever. Uh, so we have the incentive to provide the best technology at the right price to the customer. A good example, like I can tell you uh, last year at our company summit, we used to have a SAS 10K RPM drive that were the enterprise uh, drives and, and people that have our systems with those drives, may, may started two years ago, may started one year ago, maybe six months ago, or even three months ago. Um, at some point we say, you know what, we will provide flash at lower cost per gigabyte than spinning disk, mm. okay? And, and uh, not only that, we will do the data migration online, the customer will not feel anything, and at, at the end of the migration, the customer will have higher performance flash, and guess what? The invoice, the next invoice will go down. No. And, and this is the kind of thing that we do that when you buy CapEx, you, you cannot do. Well, well, Nelson, talk a little bit maybe about to the customers, this consumption model, right, uh, as, a, as a service, OpEx, yeah. that translates very well to the cloud. Uh, cloud consumption models. You partner with all the major clouds, uh, you can have data up there as well. Your customer base, is it a, uh, do you see uh, people uh, adopting the hybrid model? Uh, where are we in that journey uh, to the public cloud? Uh, where, where are people keeping their eggs and in which basket yeah. these days? So, uh, yeah, as you know, our system can be on-premise and can be consumed from the major public cloud, Amazon, Azure, Google, uh, we will, uh, announce next month another one uh, that there are I more can, than just the three. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 another one. Um, so, so they can consume us in both. I will say, until two years ago, the market was divided in the people that want to be all cloud or all private cloud or, or inside our data center. Today, 100% of our customers have both, basically, except for the very small startup that may start in the cloud. Uh, even the one that after they, they're getting bigger, they have multiple environments. So I would say today the, the landscape is that people have both because there are things that is better to do in the public cloud, you know, for bursting and for, uh, you know, scalability. Uh, but there are things that is better to do on premise. So it's no, no longer a private versus public, it's hybrid, I guess. And speaking of that, and you mentioned uh, that Zodora partners with with some big cloud providers, Amazon, Google, um, Azure, and, and then there's a to be announced soon. Yeah. What have the announcements that you've heard at VMworld this year, what have this meant to you with, with uh, the VCP, VCF on AWS that was announced Monday, yeah. um, then we heard yesterday about the um, Pivotal um, container uh, service, Mm -hmm. uh, with Google, what what does that signify to you in terms of, of the market trends? Is it is it in line with what you expected? Yeah, so uh, actually we were, I guess, the, the first company to partner with Amazon and, and cross-connect to Amazon, first storage company. Okay, they're not, not the first company, uh, the first storage company. And people will say, why you will do that? It's better to sell the box and, and things like that. So our product was built with uh, cross-connectivity and integration with Amazon and, and Google and the major cloud uh, uh, immediately, right? So we, we are multi-tenant um, that is necessary for the cloud, and, but the, the main thing that we do is that we do a really good job of separating the tenants between them. That is unique, and this is why enterprises prefer to use our uh, storage even in, in the cloud. Uh, so. A uh, customer of us has dedicated drive, they have dedicated controller, dedicated networking even, and can attach the cloud storage solution to their own Active Directory and have all these uh, capabilities that they will have on premise. Um, so so we, we started in this way, and, and I think that now we see more and more, e even P uh, VMware and NetApp and those that they were classical on-premise going to in the same direction. It's, it's actually very good for us. 
I'm a little interested in the uh, the container story here, right? Uh, there's a lot of talk about containers here at the show. Yep. Um, on on prem, even the the hyperconverged story. Uh, talk about containers. You're running workloads and storage. Uh, uh, containers super useful for that. Obviously in the cloud. What's the what's the Zadara service with containers, yep. and how does that work? Yeah, definitely. So we uh, launched uh, two years ago uh, a very unique service that allow a customer to run uh, a Linux container inside the storage. So in, inside the cloud storage solution, uh, they can run their own code. Uh, why we did that, the, there were many customers that have millions of files and, and the you know reading and writing from a VM outside the storage introduced latency. Uh, one of our customers had billion files. And billion files, if every time you cut one millisecond, it, it, it's it translated in, in, in a long, long period of time. Uh, the other thing that is interesting with our service is that storage, by definition, you can write or read data. You cannot get a notific asynchronous notification, hey, a file was changed. But if you run the application in a Linux container inside the storage, then we can provide this type of notification and say, hey, each time that uh, a new file, JPEG, uh, come to the file system, we will notify the Linux container and the customer can trigger a mini application or mini service that will do something with the data at zero latency. So zero latency, nothing to manage, they don't need ex external VMs, and also they get the capability of notifications from inside the file system. Nice. On the container front, uh, I'm glad you brought that up, John. Are you seeing any um, any industries in particular that are early adopters of this, or that are coming to Desire saying, hey, we, we want to go the container direction, we need some advice here. You talked about a customer with billions of files. Are you seeing this, any sort of industry specificity, or is it more size of company where container technology is yeah, really be uh, leading? Most of our customers that use container, they use for a specific service, is they, they will not run a full up blown application in a container, they still run VMs. But the, the, there are some services that benefit from zero latency and from uh, having this notification that they can run in our site. So I, I think it's, it's not uh, per industry, but more per type of service within the industry okay. that, that they need to do. Okay. Uh, another thing I saw on your website was that Zadara, Zadara was chosen as a 2017 Red Herring Top 100 North American winner. You joined fellow winners, Google, Skype, Twitter, innovation. It's a really hot topic, so I, I'm sure that that was pretty cool. Michael Dell talked about innovation yeah. yesterday and how important it is to innovate with customers. Tell us a little bit as, as we close up here about how Zadara is innovating together with your customers. Yeah. Uh, great question. So we, we started, I mean, I, I am an engineer from <laughs> my background. So I, I like uh, to uh, innovate and, and, and have a new product. I also am a firm believer that, especially a company like us that is not the, the big uh, companies, uh, we need a really differentiated product. We, we don't want to compete uh, on the cheapest thing <laughs> and uh, with, with Amazon, for example. Uh, we, we need to provide really high value. So in order to provide high value, we need to innovate. I believe that the, as, as the time goes on, there's more and more opportunities for innovation. And, and this is what you keep seeing new startups coming along because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a non-stop journey and, and getting the best value for the customer. And, and uh, it's, uh, nothing, nothing is more uh, rewarding when, when you, you had an idea and, and people, we start developing that and then suddenly customers are using and, and they like that. This is the, the best uh, reward that we can have. And it's probably rewarding for them, I would imagine, that they are able to be influencing yeah. to, to you. In, in, in our case, because we are, a smaller company, we, we do summits uh, every year, we invite customers, uh, a little bit lower amount than VMworld, but, but uh, we invite customers and, and we have a daily interaction with the customers and they can strongly influence the roadmap. We typically ask about what are the problems, what, 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 what are the main issues, and, and we try to innovate in this way. It's, it's a good, good thing to have a really good roster of we have worldwide customers today and, and everywhere in the world and 
and uh, when the, you put everybody together, it's, it's, it's a really good uh, experience. So as we wrap here, uh, where can folks go? I imagine the Zadara website to learn more in about a month of this new announcement that <laughs> Zadara is going to be making. Yeah, yeah. Zadarastorage.com is the, the place. Yeah. Excellent. And, and you know, we, we offer free trials and uh, uh, the nice thing about our service is that very easy to try. You just go register and and there's no moving parts. It's, uh, we have a one week free trial and uh, you like, you stay. You don't like, you don't stay. Fantastic. Well, Nelson, thanks so much for coming back to theCUBE and sharing with us some of the great things Thank that are going on. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure again. And we'll be, we'll be watching to yes. see what comes <laughs> out in about a month's time, cigarstorage.com. Yeah, definitely, it will be very important. All right, you heard it here first. All right, <laughs> for my co-host, John Troyer, for our guest, Nelson Nahum, I'm Lisa Martin, you're watching theCUBE, live continuing coverage from VMworld 2017. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs>